Good day everyone, especially to our beloved instructor, Ma'am Angeline Aquila. I am here to present virtually my presentation about local arts. What comes from your mind if you hear the word local art? Well, local art means the origin where the art is produced. However, for some, incorporating local art is about engaging the community and supporting local artists. It boosts awareness of the art community in the area and gives them a chance to promote their businesses and thus support the local economy. Have you ever asked yourself why it's important to support local art? There are so many reasons why you should support local art. And apart from it, driving tourism are rewarding innovative minds for the beautiful talents. Local art has the ability to share common values and beliefs between different groups of people. Here are a few reasons why you should support local arts. First, it fuels the economy. Second, the art is original and different. Third, it creates a sense of culture. And the last one, it inspires young minds. Let us proceed the two local arts found in my municipality, which is Kalape. These are Bahay Kubo and Bangka. Let us find out first the origin and what it's all about of Bahay Kubo. The origin of Bahay Kubo or Nipahat. The term Nipahat introduced during the Philippines American colonial era refers to the Nipa or Anaha Dutch material often used for the roofs. Nipa huts were the native houses of the indigenous people of the Philippines before the Spaniards arrived. What is Bahay Kubo all about? A Bahay Kubo is built to give a welcome refuge in the rainy season and provide shade in the hot summer. Bahay Kubo usually has no partitions for rooms. It is designed for family living and all household activities like dining, recreation, and sleeping. Take place in one single open and multi-purpose room called Bulwagan. Aside sa mga purposes sa bahay kubo, na uban mga dato o kwartahan dere sa kalape nagpili yapon nga mag bahay kubo or magpayag. Kay gusto nila nga makatabang silang mga silingan or our fellow kalapenhans. Sama sa pagpalit sa mga nipa o mga amakan nga mao gamito nila. Next, let us know the origin of bangka boats and what it's all about. In the Philippines, bangka boats have always been a staple for residents living in the coastal area. Early development of boat building can be dated back to the pre-Hispanic era. What is bangka all about? Bangka boats, also locally known as bangka, palm boats, baruto, etc., are the primary water transportations of locals in the Philippines. Bangka boats are commonly used for fishing, transporting goods, and island hopping tours. If farmers have carabas for farming, fishers have bangka boats for fishing. Sa mga dari sa kalape, ang tawag namo sa bangka nga na ay makina is pambot. If nan, tago namo og bangka. Nay lokal artist sa amo sa liburan kalape nga tigama og bangka tag size mil ang kantidad. Sa mo ang silingan nga pulis ang maoy ning palit ni ini. So dako jud to tabang kini sa ilahang source of income. Just like my father who is a fisherman, so dako jud tabang kini aron makapanagat siya. What have you noticed about the local arts? What I have noticed about the local arts is it reflects traditional art forms of diverse community groups that may be tribal, occupational, religious, and geographical. It means kung unsa ang natural resources sa inyong area. For example, nga dool ka sa dagat. So ang possible nga mga local arts kay mga nipa o mga bangka boats. 
and these are my references of my presentation. Thank you for listening and have a great day ahead.